welcome back to our channel sankalp study success in this video we are going to study about the last topic of our first unit which is system of linear congruence here we'll see the system of linear congruence for two variables actually in the previous lectures uh, we have discussed about linear congruence of single variable right now we are going to discuss about the single congruence uh, linear congruence of two variables so here linear congruence of two variables they are of the form ax plus by is congruent to e mod m and cx plus dy is congruent to f mod m here the solution will be x is congruent to x naught mod m so in this format the linear congruence of two variables will be there so uh, let us see one of the uh, example and we'll solve some problems of system of linear congruence of two variables here it is given that show that x is congruent to 12 mod 13 and y is congruent to 2 mod 13 we are already given with the equation these these are the solutions of these two equations the solution is also already given and you need to prove it you have to show that whether these are the problems uh, these are the solutions of the given equations or not so what we do is here we will substitute here we are having 2x plus 3y right in the place of x we substitute this 12 and in the place of y we substitute 2 because these are the solutions right so 2 into 12 plus 3 into 2 then what do you get here 12 2 is 24 plus 3 2 is 6 that means 24 plus 6 okay let us write it here 24 plus 6 will become 30 right that means 30 mod 13 okay 30 mod 13 how can we simplify this 30 mod 13 13 2 is 26 so we'll remain with reminder 4 so we can write it as 4 mod 13 that means we are simplifying this again okay so now this is for 2x plus 3y now let us find out for 3x plus 4y by substituting 12 and 2 in the equations so this is 4 into 2 so now here we get 12 3 is 36 and 4 2 is 8 right so now 36 plus 8 will become 44 which is 44 mod 13 now 13 uh, now 44 mod 13 if you simplify further 13 forza is 52 oh it is greater than 44 right that is let us take 13 3 is 39 so 39 minus 44 which is nothing but 5 right so here we get 5 mod 13 now by solving this you are getting a 4 mod 13 and 5 mod 13 so therefore you can say that every pair that is x congruent to 12 mod 13 and y congruent to 2 mod 13 which are given right so every pair of these two equations are the solutions of given equations sorry equation given equations okay so these are the solutions of the given so that means if you are uh, substitute we are just substituting the equations in the uh, values of x and y in the given equation so that we will get the 4 mod 13 and we will get we are getting 5 mod 13 so we can we proved that given x is congruent to 12 mod 13 and y congruent to 2 mod 13 are the solutions of given equations so now let us see one more problem which is of different model by using elimination method to solve these two equations how can you eliminate these two that means if you eliminate y if you want to eliminate y then it, first of all consider this as equation 1 and consider this as equation 2 now to eliminate y multiply equation 1 with 4 number 4 and equation 2 with 3 okay so now if you multiply equation 1 with 4 you will get 8x plus 12y 
is congruent to 16 mod 13. Over here. Now, if you multiply equation 2 with 3, then you will get 9x plus 12y is equal, uh, it is congruent to 15 mod 13. Now, by further simplification of this 16 mod 13, obviously you will get what? If you multiply 16 mod 13, uh, if you simplify that, you will get 3 mod 13, right? Because 13 ones are 13 and the remainder will be 3. Now, if you further simplify uh, 15 mod 13, you will get it as 2 mod 13 because the remainder will be 2. Now, we got these equations. Now, if we subtract, you will get minus x. This is completely getting cancelled. Then you will get it as 1 mod 13. Correct? Because 3 minus 2 is 1. So, here also we are going to uh, subtract. Minus x is equals to 1 mod 13. So, how can we write this? x is congruent to 12 mod 13, right? Because 12 minus 13 is minus 1, which we get here, the remainder. So, we can also write it in the form of x is congruent to 2, congruent to 12 mod 13. So, now we got the value of x. So, we, we should also get the value of y, right? So, by substituting this x value in any one of the equation, you can get the y value. That is, in the uh, equation, for in the first equation, let us consider. So, 2 into 12 plus 3y, it is congruent to 4 mod 13. Correct? Which is here, 4 mod 13, 2 into 12, because here x value is 12. So, 2 into 12 plus 3y is equals to 4 mod 13. 2 into 12 is 24 plus 3y is congruent to 4 mod 13. Now, 3y will become minus 7 mod 13, right? After simplification. Because 24 minus 4 is, you will get minus 20 here. Now minus 20, if you further simplify with th mod 13, then you will get it as minus 7 mod 13. So, how can we write this y is congruent to 2 mod 13? Okay, so we got the value of y. So, therefore, x value is 12 mod 13. And y value is 2 mod 13. Okay, so these two are the solutions of x and y by using elimination method. So, by using elimination method, how we are finding, we are first of all, we are eliminating y in this case. You can also eliminate x so that first you will get y value, then if you substitute y value, then you will get x value. So, you can do in any of the methods. So, this is the last problem which we have. So, thank you for watching the video.